This is my office, guys. Hey, you guys starting? Sick. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Introduce yourself. I'm Graham. From White Sand Heroes. All right. So, um, <laughs> how, what do you think about the LA crowd? Well, let's see. It's pretty. I mean, I've always loved LA punk. Like you know, like I grew up listening to LA hardcore. Like mm -hmm. when I was a kid, like bands like Youth Brigade, like you know, Circle Jerks, Black Flag. Like that was like it's still music I listen to on a regular basis. Nice. And so I was like, I always we love coming here for that reason. But at the same time, it's also kind of weird. Like sometimes you play shows with like bigger bands, and it's like sometimes feels like. You know, like you're masturbating in front of your grandmother or something. Like, you're putting out all this energy and people are just like, yeah, you know, thanks for coming out, but, you know, we want to see this this band. We want to see Slayer or something, you know, which is cool. But, so it just makes that we have to we have to kick it up a notch. Where you are know you guys from? We're from uh, Edmonton, Alberta in Canada. Nice. So, uh, so how's the scene up there? In Canada, it's awesome. It's like uh, a lot of wild kids and uh, it's... Not like that's the one thing I do love about LA. LA is definitely the biggest punk scene in North America. Like there is so many fucking punks. Like I remember when that Casualties record Under Attack came out, and I was like, we were in town, and there's like bus stops with Casualties, like Casualties bus stops. Like yeah. what the fuck? Like, you know, in in our hometown, you know, it's not like it's. Super dangerous to be a punk, but like, there's no way that would fly. Up really? In our town. You'd yeah. get your ass kicked. Like, like, there's a lot of rednecks, a lot of rig workers, but there's a lot of people that are starting to get with it. You know, get with like the alternative scene nice. or whatever. But kids are cool. Kids are like, you know, we're really diligent, like hardworking, and up there because you don't get a lot of bands coming through. So you got to start your own. You know, and that's yeah. that's kind of been like. The way it's always, that's the way it's, it's been for us. You know? Yeah, it's kind of weird because out here it's like more like, I mean, we're well, more you got, used you, to it. You got the fucking, but I mean, the we thing have, is about LA is like you have, you have like buildings, like when you're driving in, it's like Capitol Records right there, fucking a huge building, you know? And then at the same time, you have like this whole unit of kids that are like have to like rebel against that. Mm -hmm. And it's like, so I mean here it's way more in your face, like you're having like the commercialism of punk rock right in your face. It's like these guys like, we want to market this, we want to rip it out of your hands and, and sell it back to you at a watered down price and all sorts of stuff. Mm -hmm. So the one thing I do love about LA is like you have a lot of these different scenes where there's like kids that are really trying to keep it DIY and really kind of keep it, keep it cool. Like, I mean, I remember we played with this band, uh, Media Blitz. They were pretty cool. Yeah. Bad Reaction was really yeah, cool. Yeah, you guys were out here with Global Threat like a couple, yeah, years, that was a couple a, months back, right? Yeah, you know, we played with Yapo, and that was pretty fun. Like, you know, it's like, and it's cool that there's a lot of DIY labels here too. Mm -hmm. You know, and like TKO, like the label we're on, BYO Records. Like, you know, even though some people might say whatever they want about them, but they've been really true to being independent and really helping nurture, like, you know, like Clip 45 from here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they like, were... So how do you think about like being on a BYO? Like, I mean, as far as like punk sound is like a bigger record label. It, it is a bigger record label, but it's not. But, like, it, it's not. Op it doesn't operate like a major label. You know, like yeah. it's a bigger record label. Like I mean, like they should be uh, pissed off that they put out a lot of classic bands. Like, I mean, the only reason that BYO is so well known is because. You know, look at the track record, that Youth Brigade, that fucking seven seconds, like best records. Like they had the crew, you know, like that record like changed my life. And like SNFU from our hometown, like those first two records were on BYO and those compilations. I remember that was the first time I ever heard of bands like Adolescence and, mm -hmm. and um, you know, like Aggression. And, and I was like, wow, all this shit is going on, you know, like even though this was way before before, before I, time, but I was yeah. like, like you know, I was like 12 years old listening to these records being like, hold, I gotta throw out all these records that I, you know, like, I'm, I'm kicking my MC Hammer tape out the fucking window. <laughs> <laughs> and like, you know, I'm gonna just, you know, start, start rethinking my stuff, you know, but like, those are great glasses, by the way. I broke them, yeah, um, really. thanks to me. She broke I broke them tonight. Well, yeah. it makes you look uh, like, like these are like some smart glasses. Here, I'll wear, I'll wear half, so we can, <laughs> we can have a proper. Right? It's like you guys so, yeah, so, so tell me more about so the future. Where, okay, so honestly, like, so what are your, like, 
records that changed your life and I mean as far as like punk rock actually so to speak. one of the records that changed my life is actually this t-shirt that he's wearing right now minor threat uh, I got the complete discography when I was a kid and I remember like I was 11 years old when I, my, my older brother our bass player in our band he, mm -hmm. he got that record and I remember being like what the f there's like 30 songs on this and like this is you know 26 songs on this I'm like what the <laughs> What's going on? And I put that record on and I just like lost my mind. I was like, it was so angry. It was so perfect. And I still to that day, that record is still one of my all time favorites. Nice. I also love Nevermind the Bollocks by Sex Pistols. Oh, yeah. That record kicked my ass. Uh, you know, there's a lot like the first Ramones record. I love, you know, The Clash. Uh, like lately, one of the records that I, I've, I've been like, I, I discovered it probably six, seven years ago, but Vicious Circle by uh, Zero Boys. Oh, yeah. That's a that record is just like, a holy <laughs> like, this is a perfect record. <laughs> you know, Sound and Fury by Youth Brigade, an awesome record, you know, so. <clears throat> no One Else Wanted to Play by SNFU, that record. Oh, man. I, I could go on, but yeah, I think, I think for one of my, my favorites was probably that first, like, when I got the discography of Mind Threat, and I was just like, Okay, I gotta rethink everything. So what I, do you what do you think about now? Like, as far as like bands out, like, you know, what do you think about now? Like, what bands do you think are out like really good now that you should pay well, attention to? Well, I think it, for me, uh, a lot of bands I've been really liking is like a lot of like there's like that DIY hardcore scene that's going on, and uh, there's a lot of great bands like in Canada. I love uh, Career Suicide. They're really, really great. Um, I love. Uh, this band out of Richmond, Virginia, called Government Warning. Uh, Regulations, that's a great record. Um, Vicious, there's a lot of a lot of great bands going on. Um, from Canada, other bands, like I love Career Suicide. I love The Transmitters out of Vancouver. Yeah, um, I think, like, yeah, those are some of the bands that I was just like, you listen to those records and you're like, okay, like, let's go out and buy Government Warnings, No Moderation, and you'll be like, this is a classic record nice. like, already, and it's new. Um, so you go and support like your local bands. Oh, f yeah! All the like time. in 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 our hometown, you have to. Yeah. You know, like there's this there's like this great band called Let's Dance. Uh huh. They're gonna have like records out soon. Great. They're like kind of like power poppy, like new wave, but like still punk. You know. Mm -hmm. There's this thrash. This band called Thrashic Fibrosis. Uh, they kind of sound like suicidal tendencies. And nice. They're just like the ultimate skate rock band. Uh, there was an all-girl hardcore band called uh, Home Records. Oh yeah, Home Records. They came down recently. Dude, they kick ass. And yeah. It's cool because it's like four chicks and they're playing like brutal hardcore, you know? And like. Yeah, they're good. They're, they're good. really cool. So I don't know. Like, there's a lot of great. Shit. Um, I love this band from Toronto called The Bayonets. Their records are good. This is like, yeah, I don't know. I could go on. There's a lot of. You know, the thing is, though, with, with new, new sh is, like, it kind of feels like you still got to dig and you still got to search for it, you know, because a lot of the that's really easy to find, like, all the easy access punk stuff like that just isn't really doing it for me these days, you know? Like, yeah. You know, like, I've never really been a big fan of, you know, a lot of stuff that's, you know, more mainstream or yeah. whatever, but it's not just because it's mainstream, it's just because it's seems like lifeless and just like something's missing yeah. yeah it seems like there's no passion it's there's no like, soul to it yeah it's like <laughs> yeah. wow they're playing fast but it's like not yeah. intense or it doesn't I know feel exactly crazy exactly what you're talking about you know and uh -huh. it's still dark so your next show is with um friday matt oh, oh thursday. thursday urban decay Air thursday with urban decay and yapo at uh airliner, airliner. so who who um hooked you up with that show then that uh night? The, the good people over at the 99 cent only store. Really? <laughs> yeah, they, they were like, listen, we gotta get you, we gotta break you into to East Lincoln. So right. they're really trying so, to get us going. Um, okay, Lincoln well, Heights. as far as your, your, your main in the magazines, I, uh, Manic Hispanic, Friday yeah, night. How do you, right. What do you think about that? Like, being Dude, on Manic Hispanic? I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it's gonna be fun because, like, you know, like for me, it's like uh, the chance to play, like, the Cinco de Mayo weekend with all our Mexican brothers, <laughs> yeah. you know, it's going to be awesome, brothers That's and cool. sisters coming out, and it's going to be a big party, it's a big celebration, you know,